Hi, I'm Jules from Design It In Your Pocket and today I'm going to show you how to make this moving carousel animation right inside Canva. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the blank template for a video and we are just going to change the background to a kind of dark grey. And then I'm just going to quickly build out a mock-up of a Instagram post so that we can mimic the carousel feature. I'm just going to change that to white and then just start building up all the different elements we need. Put the wee profile picture in there. Now let me just build up this stage and then we'll get on to the next part. Okay, and once we have the carousel design made up for the Instagram post, I'm just going to put in the first picture. And then what we're going to do is just place a little shadow behind. So we'll just go back up to elements again. Search for a nice shadow. Change the layer and move it behind the white box. Then we are going to copy it across the same image and then we are going to swap it for the last page of the carousel post and then page two. So I'm going to go back into my uploads because the design earlier. I've saved and re-uploaded. So I'll put the last page in here and then page one in here. And then we're gonna shrink it down so they're slightly smaller than the actual main page. And again, we'll go back up to positions and we'll move them to the back. And I'm gonna to want to put a wee shadow behind them as well. So I'll go back up to shadows. And then go back up to layers and move the shadows to the back. So here we have our basic design for our carousel post. And now I want to add in the text that we're going to have curved in the background. So let me just do that. So we'll just add our first text box. Change it to the text that you want to put in here. Right, I'm just putting in template drop because this is a design from my template membership. And it's to just let people know that a new template drop is out. So we go up to effects and we can add a curve. Now I don't want a curve as deep as that. I want to have quite a small curve. So I'm just going to go into 30. And I'm going to copy that one. And then I'm going to have the curve going the opposite way. So I'm going to make it minus 30. And then line it up next to the other one and then again copy the first one so that we can have a nice row that goes right across the page. I'm going to make sure that it kind of falls off either side of the page here. When I'm happy with that I'm going to group the three together. Now there's eight pages in this animation in total so I'm just going to copy the curved text seven times so that we have eight in total for each page of animation. Okay, and now we'll need to move it into the center of the page and then we're going to go up to our layers and send them to the back. And I'm going to change the color of them just now as well. I'm going to make them a kind of light gray. 
for the moment and I will change that later on. So now we have the basics of our design done and now what we're going to do is down in the timeline I'm going to duplicate this page eight different times and now what we're going to do is start changing each page so that we can get the moving carousel. So on page two we now want to make this image now our cover page so we're just going to move that here and then the center one is going to become our page one and then this one's going to become our step two and then we're going to change it again so that this one now becomes step one step two and step three and again for each page we're just moving each page of the carousel along one so this last one was Step two, so now step two becomes left hand slide to step three, step four. And I'm just going to repeat that now for the rest of the slides. And you can see here now we're back to the beginning. We've now got the cover slide is going to go across into the first slide when we go back to the beginning. So that's has got enough steps in our carousel. Okay, so now we are going to change the colour of the curved text in the background and we're going to change the colour of each row on each different slide that we have. So I'm just going to start doing that just now. And we're just going to choose a colour that will stand out from the background. And if you find that it doesn't select the whole row at a time, you've still got this, the white in the background there, what we can do is we can just go to our position and layers and we can move the layer back up to the top of the page just so that we can catch that little bit of text there that's peeking through and then we can just move the layer back down like so so that we can quickly grab all that text no matter where it's peeking through so let me just quickly go through each page and do that now There we go. So if we look through now, you can see that each row changes colour as each of the carousel pages change. And that's going to turn into a really nice animation once we add the animation controls to it. So now, once we select slide one, we are going to go to this gap between the two pages here and select add transition. And we're going to do match and move. And we are going to change the duration of the match and move and apply to all pages. And at the moment, the slides are going to take too long to transition. We want to make this to be a really quick transition. So what we can do is see we'll go up to our timer here I'm going to edit the timings I'm going to make it 0.8 and we're going to apply to all eight pages and then what that also does is adjust the timing of the match and move and if I take that arrow back to the start of the timeline when I press play it now not only changes the carousel images but it also changes the colors of the text in the background one other thing I want to do is I want that text to be a little more subtle so I'm just going to select all the text except for the orange layer and I'm just going to move the transparency down to about 34 and again I'm going to do that on each page and deselect the orange layer so you can get the orange to stand out that little bit more and let me just do that for each page just now Okay, so now when I press play, what you'll see is that the orange text stands out much more against the background because we've reduced the opacity of the white text. And there we go. That's how you create the moving carousel post.
I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and if you want to watch more Canva tips and tricks with myself and design in your pocket then please do follow.